So this is my little piece I'm working on. And it basically shows the evolution of a 10 year old to 16 year old uh, girl. And uh, yeah, so the first part is uh, entitled Magic. 1975, I was 10 years old. I wish I could do magic and fly and that stuff. You know, it would sure be fun to do that. <laughs> I mean, I watch TV shows like Bewitched, and um, I mean, I could fly around all day, and I could just, I could see Lee Majors, and I could go to your house too, and I could make you fly, and we could fly around together, <laughs> and that would be fun <laughs> if you wanted to. I mean, I, I could have my desk up in the air too, and I, um, and you know, when I want to hand in a paper, I'll just make it fly down into the inbox. I think you get the picture. That, yeah, I actually wrote those words. Yeah, I think you get the picture. Okay, moving on, 1977. Okay, this was called My Five Wishes. Okay, number one. To meet Sean Cassidy. Ah! Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. Number two. To achieve my goals in life. Number three. To be a person that everyone could like. Number four. That I could help America with some of its problems. Number five. To win on field day! Yes! Yes! So, uh, and then I'm expanding, uh, extrapolating on all of these wishes in the next section. Uh, number one. So, I wish to meet Sean Cassidy. Uh, not because that's what everyone would wish, <laughs> just to meet a star, <laughs> but because he's the only person that I am the least bit interested in. Yeah, I mean, I like him because he's intelligent, and he has a great personality, and he's a good singer, and uh, I mean, he really seems to be my kind of person. Yeah, I mean, uh, we just have so much in common. And number two, my goals in life are to get into show business. I want to be a singer, a dancer, a songwriter, and a guitarist. Oh, yeah. Uh, I am not wishing this. I am planning this. And I'm not planning it just because that's what Sean is doing. No, no, no. I mean... Sean isn't really a dancer, and uh, he's not really a guitarist exactly, you know, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, I have loved to sing and dance since before I started school. <laughs> okay, this is getting too personal, so I'll cut off now. Yeah, I wrote that. I wrote getting too personal. Yeah. Okay, so number three, yes, um, I'd like to be a person everyone would like. Yeah. I mean, I think that if I were a little less shy... I could, you know? I mean, I like to make other people happy. I, I like to give instead of get. Number four, I am very interested in stopping pollution, uh, saving our natural wilderness and endangered animals. I, I'm also looking forward to the day uh, when solar energy will be used all over the country. I'm going to get a club together next year that's going to do something on these issues. I was 12. You have to understand. You have to understand the context here. To, uh, oh, number five, yes. To win against Teresa Jackson on field day! 
<laughs> if I do win, I can't wait to see her face. So oh, yeah, boy, will she be mad. <laughs> I also hope to get a ribbon in the leg wrestling or something else. I, I don't know what, <laughs> just anything. Um, I'd also like to do something really heroic. Um, yeah, like stand up for someone else's rights. Um, I, I, I wish I, I could have worked for equal rights for women and black people because, you know, I think it was terrible the way they didn't have equal rights. Because they still don't. <laughs> anyway, moving on, 1979. I'm evolving. I'm 14, eighth grade. All right, here goes. Well, the dance was last night. Would you believe it? I didn't dance with anybody. Not one guy. But I was ready for it. Maybe not entirely ready, but I didn't think it'd be that bad. But, but if that's the way it is, that's the way it is. And that was my last dance. I, I don't like life anymore. I, I, uh, I guess mom is right. My shyness is killing me. Um, just getting in the way of everything. It's, it's making me frustrated and angry and depressed. I mean, I don't think anyone in this whole world really cares about me. My parents have to. I mean, I'm their daughter, right? I mean... <laughs> Mom might be that way, but you know, I don't think, I don't believe my dad does love me at all. I mean, he continues, he's continually saying, where did I go wrong? How did you get so weird? He's not very understanding. Mm, no one is for that matter. Maybe mom a little. I don't know. I mean, I, I've got to clean out that barn for my horse. That's right. I mean, I want somebody else to talk to, to confide in, and it will all Listen. All right, just a little bit more. I know you're just dying to hear all of this. 16, 1982. I'm sorry, I'm a whining, whimpering bitch. I'm sorry, I can't seem to live right. I just don't know what's right. I'm sorry that I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. Mom and dad and God and my teachers and I don't know. For God's sake, what am I supposed to do? I don't know how to live. I don't. I mean, it's total mystery to me. I and that's it. I mean, it's insane. Everybody else lives with all this crap that I go through. I mean, whatever it is. I mean, I hate people who act like they know it all. You know, maybe they do know a lot, but they don't have to act like it. You know, I defy anybody to figure me out if I can't. It's not possible. I don't belong anywhere except maybe nowhere. I just want to leave. I just want to leave. Oh, I mean, there's so many emotional walkout scenes. That, I mean, you know, they're just running through my mind over and over. You know, I mean, oh, I just. I just, I want to run away from this place. I mean, I want to be free, free, free. It's getting so that the weight of life is unbearable. It's unbearable. I can't take it anymore. Every person makes me so sick. Ugh. And I'm awful because I know the reasons for my feelings are totally screwed up. I mean, I think I'm going to start believing people when they say that I'm strange because I am. I mean, I do need a psychiatrist. I mean, I'll never be able to be a counselor or a writer or a teacher. I mean, I can't counsel myself. I mean, I can't teach myself. I mean, and my writing, I mean, come on. All it is is insane babbling to myself. I mean, because because I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm nuts. And, 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 and being nuts is not good. And it's not okay. It is just not okay to... Be crazy. Do you understand, Mary? I mean, I can't stand living with you anymore. I mean, oh, God, I mean, you're the sick one. It's not society. And no one else is sick and wrong. You are sick and wrong. No, I'm not strong. Um, I'm a weakling. Life is a burden. Pure pain. Um, 
because of me. I can't really care anymore about me, about life, about anyone. Why am I I'm so ignorant? Dear Lord, please have mercy on me. Um, I don't know. Please don't punish me for being in the dark in more ways than one. Uh, it's, it's punishment enough in itself. I wish I could be kind, but I'm not strong enough or wise enough to be kind when I, I hurt so much and I just feel so confined, imprisoned. I think I will quit school.